Today we're going to be comparing two grinders. We have on the manual end the Commandant C40 hand grinder and then on the electric end we got the Baratza Siete 270WI. We're going to be comparing these on features and head to head and which one overall makes the better cup and why you should buy one over the other. But first off I, say, I want to say thank you for joining us on Kabeen's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to brew with at home. I do reviews and comparisons between a lot of different things between manual espresso machines and grinders and I want my goal with this channel is basically help you choose the gear that you want to brew with that, without having to buy a bunch of stuff and regret your purchases. If you found this useful please like and subscribe that really helps me produce more content. If you are purchasing any one of these grinders please use the affiliate links below where I make a slight amount of commission at no extra charge to you that helps me continue to produce more videos. I also have an Instagram page called Kabeen's Coffee Corner so you're more than welcome to follow me there as well. So let's go ahead and dive into it. We got the Commandant C40 at $250 uh, to 275 depending on the color of wood you get. You can also add red clicks and bump it up to about $300 in there. Versus we got the Baratza 270WI which is gonna run at about 550 So a substantial upgrade over this one. But if you add a scale on this one, you're about in the same range there. So we're gonna get into that a little bit here. So this is a manual hand grinder. Um, great job, you can see my overview. Um, on my channel as well over that. This is a great electric grinder that I've used for many, many years. Um, I'm very, very fond of it, and it's a great grinder to start you out. One of the few, one of the difference is this one has a built-in scale with it, so if you didn't get the built-in scale, it would cover, it'd be a lot cheaper. However, if you bought this grinder, and then you bought the scale that was inside of it, you'd be roughly at the same price point in here. You, you'd be at about 450 for this, 550 for this. So it's it's close in the ballpark of where you're at on price. Um, so I wanna do add that with this grinder. You can buy the same scale that's inside of this. So this one grinds by weight. You can grind it in this little cup or you can put a porta filter in there and it's got a, a hundred and fifty, basically a, the technology of $150 Akaya scale similar to the Pearl built into this. So it will grind by weight directly to like the 10th of the gram. So if you want 18 grams in, it's gonna give you 18 grams out. And if you're, if it's off a little bit, it's gonna automatically correct itself for the next time. Versus this one is a single dose grinder, so you're gonna put in 18 grams when you wanna grind versus filling the hopper and clicking a button on there. This is incredibly noisy, but it grinds in six seconds. This has a really nice tone when you grind, but if you're grinding for espresso, it's gonna take a minute and a half to two minutes. Something to think about, but you are saving quite a bit of money in the process. I love this grinder and the fact that it has 270, 270 degrees of adjustment. So you have this top dial up here, um, which basically gives you a little step adjustment. And then you have a stepless here, which means that you're grinding exactly what you want. So if you're pulling a shot of 18 grams of coffee and you're hoping for 36 out in 27 seconds, you can, and you're at 29, you can just adjust this just a little bit and it should take care of your problem. Versus the Kinu has clicks adjustments on here. So you unscrew this bottom, not Kinu, I meant to say Commandant. You unscrew this bottom and it has this little dial here and you click and you count your clicks from zero. So you get it all the way as tight as it can go and then you simply just keep counting until you get to the grind setting that you desire. With those clicks comes very little, very little small adjustments. So when I grind for espresso for this, I did six clicks and I came in at 43 seconds out of my 36 grams and when I did seven clicks which was a little bit coarser it would be 18 seconds if you add red clicks in there it makes it a little bit better but it's not going to be as precise of the of a grinder as this one as the Baratza would be however a couple things to note if you want to do pour over if you're big into pour over and you just dabble in espresso then you're gonna want this because this thing is not great at pour over. It advertises that it can do V60s and stuff like that, but you're really pushing it at even being grind, being able to grind coarse enough for V60 when you go all the way to the coarsest grind setting. So you can just forget about French press and you can forget about Chemex or cold brew because it's not gonna get there. However, this guy will get anywhere you want it to be. It will be okay to get you dabbling in espresso, um, but it will excel in pour over and it will 
blow your mind with how consistent and how great of cups of coffee you'll get in a pour over with this thing versus pretty much any other grinder. When it comes to reliability, I have not had this very long, but there's not really much to break. Uh, this has a center axle um, that goes in there well. You can break these cups, but you can buy them by replacements or from Commandant, or you can, I think you can find these on Amazon um, for way cheaper. Uh, I think they're 20 bucks if you buy them through Commandant, but you can buy them through Amazon substantially cheaper. That's about the only thing that can break on here. This is gonna be a very durable grinder. It's gonna last you a long time. This thing has reliability issues. Baratza has been great to me. They have fixed all these things. They will send me the part and I can put it together following their step-by-step -step instructions and it's super easy to do. But when your grinder breaks and you're out a couple weeks, it's a very frustrating experience. And that's something to note. That you will probably have issues with it. I think they've put over $300 of parts into my $550 grinder. But they've always done it for free. They just ship it to me, and I put it in, it's good to go. But it does take a couple weeks for it to get here. And that's the problem that I run into this. However, clicking it a button and grinding it in 8 seconds, 6 seconds for a shot of espresso, great. Not having to weigh my beans out every single time. Like, that's going to save you a ton of time in the morning when this thing is like a minute and a half faster than this guy. And you don't even have to weigh out your beans. So you add like another 20 seconds of simply weighing your beans, pouring it in there, then grinding, then dosing into your portafilter. You're adding probably about three minutes to your time simply by using a hand grinder in the morning. So if you want something quick out the door, you don't have kids, this thing might wake up your kids because of how loud it is, then this is the way to go. If you're looking for pour over and you just want to start dabbling in espresso, this is the way to go and maybe add red clicks down the road. Overall, I've been very happy with both of these grinders and I would love to answer any questions that you have about either one of these things, either one of these grinders or how they compare with each other, but I wouldn't hesitate buying either one of these again. I think this is a great start espresso grinder and it's, it's very, very easy to use. I think this is a great start to espresso, but will excel always in pour over versus a lot of other things that you have. This is, this is the way to go. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, please like and subscribe. I got some more comparisons coming up with the Commandant, and I would love for you guys to watch those too. But first of all, thank you just for simply joining me in this coffee journey, and I hope you found this useful. useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, and thank you so much for watching.